before I get this vlog started, I want to say the title is not clickbait. So, yesterday at school, there was a bomb threat sent to the police station, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm getting all this from this uh, article that was shared on Facebook and stuff, from like K105. And, uh, let me just read it. At about 10.30 Monday morning, a bomb threat was, was received against Grayson County High School. Uh, all the students were evacuated around 10.30, and we were told to go to the football field. Yesterday, I, uh, I had my phone, and I was recording a bunch of people, kind of not taking it serious, kind of like goofing off and stuff, and I want to say that was very immature of me, and I'm sorry about that. You know, I know a couple people, a lot of people were scared, and I didn't take it serious like I should have. So, I'm not going to use any of that footage I got yesterday, and I'm sorry, you know, if you were excited for it. I know I even made this Facebook post, I'll put, like, somewhere on the screen right here, and I said, are you all ready for tomorrow's vlog? And, you know, a couple people were like, yeah, yeah, you know, we're ready. And then, uh, one of my friends, Jalen, Polly, she, uh tweeted and said she finally made it into my vlog and that she was, you know, excited and stuff and she's famous, you know, just messing around. And then I replied to her and told her I'd have to find her today to get her in there because I'm not using any of the footage from yesterday. And I woke up to, like, no lie, like, 20 direct messages asking why I'm not using it and stuff and they were kind of bummed out and everything. And I don't want to use it because it's it's not professional. When I, when I made that Facebook post, again, uh, my dad had sent me a text and said, hey, I know you're making a vlog tomorrow and you got footage and stuff, but be professional about it. And last night when I got home from work, I was thinking about it, and that it wasn't professional of me to, like, you know, goof off in that situation. I, sh you know, I took it serious, but I was also goofing off at the same time. So, I apologize for that. It should not have been like that. And also, um... Uh, I do want to say that, you know, that, that stuff should be taken serious and stuff like that. And also, um, I want to give like a huge thanks to the Grayson County staff and the police department and all that. They handled the situation like on point. We were out of the building and evacuated. On, like they, we started evacuating at 1030. I'm pretty sure every student was out of the building before 1040. And that, that's impressive because there, there's a... Pretty big crowd at our school. So the rest of the vlog, uh, I don't think it's gonna. It's gonna be kind of serious, not as serious. It'll be a little funny, hopefully. Back to the regular vlog. Okay, so the first person we're gonna meet is Bang. Bang. What was going on like through your head? Like, what were you thinking through your head during yesterday's like whole bombing situation? Well, I was scared that I left my protein shake in my car, and I got a good lift right after school. So I gotta get all my protein in. So did you end up getting your protein? Yeah, I did. Alright, first interview's over. Okay, number two. What were your thoughts on yesterday's events? Nah, uh, I think it was a little bit crazy, but not pretty scary at all. So, when you go back home, yep. what's the first story you're gonna tell them? Uh, probably the bomb threat. It sounds cool, I guess. <laughs> okay, so my next interview is with Guapa Macho here. So, uh, what were your thoughts about yesterday's events? Well, I wasn't really that scared, but it was kind of nice we got out of class for a little bit. Yeah. Is that is that all you have to say? That sucked. <laughs> so I'm here with Miss Cox now, and when I ask her the question I've been asking everyone. What was going on, like, in your head yesterday during, like, everything that happened? So, at first, when I found out what was going on, I was obviously a little bit flustered just because I knew, like, my responsibility to yeah. keep 1,300 kids safe. So, you know, we had classes get ready to go eat lunch, and we had to stop them from doing that. So then they got concerned. So then it kind of, you know, when other people get nervous, it kind of yeah. makes you get nervous. So... We kind of had our plan 
going forward what we were going to do. And the only time that I really got nervous was when we were all going outside with the fire alarm because I just thought, you know, the things mm -hmm. that had been going on in Florida. Um, actually, when I was in Mr. school, Baldwin. at a middle school, um, yeah. something happened. I'm and sorry. Something happened similar to this where kids pulled the fire alarm and then mm -hmm. they were outside shooting. That's kind of similar to what happened in Florida just last week. So I was a little bit nervous during that time, but once I got outside, I felt a lot better. Yeah. I didn't feel like there was a bomb, but you always have to act as if there is. Yeah. So, you know, once we got over to the football field, um, I was more just kind of like in the mode of, these parents are here to pick up their kids. We've got to get the kids with the right parents and do that all in the right way, which was pretty difficult because our wireless didn't work. We didn't have any computer, you know, so we had to do old paper pencil. Um, so by the end of it, we were all just kind of tired and yeah. grumpy. And so, I mean, all in all, I definitely think that there's things that we can work on, but for the most part, like us acting as if that was a bomb threat and going through everything, I think for the most part we did a pretty good job with it. So, and it, 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 go ahead if you no, want to ask me the question. Going. Well, I was just going to say, okay. and if you're wanting me to add on anything, it's just, I don't know, it's just sad that people feel, and I don't know why people have been, I don't know if they've been treated so badly that they want to do this or if we have mental problems that people are not getting the help for, but. Yeah. I just hope that we can find some way and a positive way to combat this to make people feel like that they're cared for, that they're important, um, and to hopefully improve the relationship between students and the schools and students and their peers so that we have better outcomes. Yeah. All right. Well, is that all you have to say? Like, it is. is, it is. Right. I think so. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So I just got home. About to start editing the vlog, uh, the last interview was Miss Cox, as you've seen. Um, sorry this wasn't the most, like, fun vlog, I kind of want to make it serious, but I did add something after the end credits, it's going to be pretty funny, uh, because it's the last time he's going to be in the vlogs, so, you'll see. I want to say thanks so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe and share this with all your friends, and I'll see you next week. What would Talking I do you. without your smart here. mouth? Throwing me in and you kicking oh, me out. No. Got my get off me. Head no. spinning. No, no kidding. No. I can't pin you down. What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride. And I'm so dizzy. Don't know what hit me, but I'll be alright. My head's under water, but I'm breathing fine. You're crazy now, out of my mind. All of me.